We're in Sheffield, uh, on the southwest of the city, on a little quiet cul-de-sac, and we've lived here for 30 years. And we generally do try to lead quite a, a green lifestyle, I suppose, try to do what we can to live in an ethically sustainable way. Really, we were looking for some other significant way of reducing carbon footprint when we started looking for uh, renewable energy supplies. There's various forms of renewable technology, but the uh, photovoltaic system consists of an array of panels attached to the roof. Is that there's absolutely no moving parts. There is no maintenance at all. It works best where you've got a south-facing roof, but there are plenty of those, you know, even in an area like this. Sheffield's not the sunniest place in the country, uh, but nevertheless, we don't use all the power we produce because most of the power is produced uh, in the daylight hours when we haven't got too many appliances running. So we find that we're exporting most of the electricity we produce during the day, and then in the evening, uh, we import current from the grid then. We're very enthusiastic about the feed-in tariff arrangement because it will, for the first time, provide a, a, a really good rate of return for people who are investing. The bills now come in and uh, we, we learn that we are owed money by the energy company rather than owing them. We didn't enter into it from the point of view of, of making money or, or even uh, of recouping it within any reasonable time frame. We really did it to save on carbon emissions and to help with the transition to a low carbon economy. But under the feed-in tariff, people will get the money back over a, a much more realistic time frame. But it's also had another benefit. I, I think one of the most surprising things is that it makes us much more conscious of the amount of energy we're using in the day. And so during the time we've had the panels installed, we found that our consumption rate has been steadily decreasing year on year. Personally, I, I, I keep a pretty close eye on it uh, on a daily basis. I check how much we've, we've used each day, how much we've generated. You've probably heard of the 1010 campaign, but the only way that initiatives like that can be made to work is if people have a, a baseline that they know where they're coming from. So I suppose you do need to have a, a basic awareness of uh, what your consumption patterns are and how they're altering over time and whether the initiatives that you're adopting are making any difference uh, in moving in the right direction. Mm -hmm.